All right. So if you just want to know straightforward how to fill out the compound interest notes and what compound interest is, okay, we're taking some sort of loan or lump sum. We call that the principal, the starting amount, and we're going to find out um, how much interest or how much money is going to be gained on it if we uh, keep that money as a loan or um, invest it. So when interest is calculated once each year, we say that it is compounded annually. That's just another word for every year. In many cases, interest is computed at a more frequent inter at more frequent intervals than that. It can be compounded semi-annually, so that's twice a year. Quarterly, that's four times a year. Monthly, it's 12 times a year because there's 12 months in a year. And even daily, so 365 days a year. All right. There is a formula for computing compound interest. This is it. It's very similar to our exponential formula. Okay. Our exponential formula had A as the starting value. Well, P is also the starting value. It's just the money you start out with. B, we usually found B using the common ratio, or if we didn't have a common ratio, that's what we use for sequences, we would use our rate. So B would be 1 plus the rate, or it would be 1 minus the rate. Now in this case, notice how we have 1 plus r over n. It's a similar idea, 1 plus the rate. This is going to be our b. Now let me describe what n means. All right, n and t are interesting variables. If you're taking out a loan, and they say we're going to charge you 5%, or even better, let's say you take uh, $10,000 and put it in the bank. Let's say you take $10,000 and put it in the bank. Um, they're going to give you interest rate so hopefully it's a good one it's not might not be as good as five percent but it might might be if it's a CD or something so you take ten thousand dollars give it to the bank and they're gonna say every month we'll give you five percent interest on that loan or on that amount of money excuse me N is how many months is this going to occur in one year well it's gonna occur six or twelve months in the year if we said they, they would do it every six months, it occurred twice a year because there are two sets of six months in a year. Or if you said um, it's just going to happen every year, n would be one year. All right, so n is the number of times per year the interest is compounded. If yearly, n is one. If semi-annually, it's two. If quarterly, n is four. If monthly, n would be 12. And daily, n would be 365. Now, T is the number of years that you actually have that investment. So if it's done, it's compounded every or twice a year, but you did it for six years, that's what T is. T is how many years that is. So let's take a look at an example here. All right. So find the interest on $7,000 compounded at 3% for five years. All right. Well, first things first, you're going to want to write out your formula. Okay, <clears throat> and then your uh, your steps are as follows. Okay, first step that you're going to want to do define the variables. All right. Well, <clears throat> p is going to be your principal. That's seven thousand dollars. That's how much we start out with. All right. Well, the rate that's three percent. That's pretty easy to find, but remember, we don't multiply or divide with percent, so we're going to change that to a decimal, and all you do is divide by 100, and that gets it for you. T is, we're going to do this for five years, all right? Now, this particular box wants us to compound this yearly. That means N is going to be 1, because it will be compounded one time in a year. Well, the second step is to substitute. all your variables into your formula. So A is equal to 7,001 plus the rate, which is 0 0.03, divided by N, which is 1, raised to the N times T power, 1 times 5 power. Then you're going to want to simplify and solve. Okay, Simplifying this isn't so bad. 7,000 stays where it's at. 1 divided by 0.3 plus 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 
and you end up with something like this. Now, when you plug this in the calculator, don't forget to put your um, your caret sign so that that becomes an exponent. All right. So when you plug this in the calculator, you're going to get a value of 8,114 and 38, I believe. <clears throat> but here's the more important part. This question asks us to find the interest. If you remember, A is A is going to be the principal and the interest. So you have to subtract that principal amount from your 8,114. So the principal was 7,000. So we're going to subtract 7,000 from this amount. And that leaves you with your interest amount, which is 1,114 and 38 cents. Now I hope that's right. Um, I don't have my calculator on me, and I did this ahead of time, but I also did it for all of these, so I might be mixing up the cents, but it's 1,114. 1, now the next problem is done exactly the same. All these variables are exactly the same, except n. So your principal is 7,000, your rate is same, 3 hundredths, time is still 5, but n, because it's done semi-annually, n is 2. So I substituted in exactly the same, 7,000, 1 plus the rate. But instead of dividing by 1, I have to divide by 2, because that's where n is in my equation. n is 2. And then 2 times 5. And again, you simplify this so that you get something like this. OK, that's 10. So 0. 0, 0.03, which is 300, divided by 2 is 15,000, raised to the 2 times 5, which is 10 power. And then when you simplify this, 1.015, 10, you should end up with, again, 8,123.79 cents, I believe. And because that is your total amount, that is the principal and the interest, you have to subtract the principal, which is 7,000 in this case. So that leaves you with a total answer of $1,123.79. If you continue on with these examples, substituting the same variables in, you are going to see how the more that the interest is compounded, the more money you make. Okay? The only other piece that I would explain to you is how to do a word problem. It's exactly the same. You just read it. You have $5,000 to invest, and you want to know which of the following investments will give you the most money at the end of eight years. The interest rate for all the situations is 6%. Make sure you put your exponents in parentheses and show what you're plugging into the calculator. So this is calculate if it's compounded annually. That means n will be 1. And again, we're defining all our variables. The principal is 5,000. That's what we start with. <coughs> our rate is 6%, which we're going to change into a decimal. All right. And then our time is 8 years. And I already know what n is. So again, you substitute all your variables into your formula. OK? So the principal is 5,000 in this case. And it's 1 plus the rate, which has been changed to a decimal, divided by how many is it compounded? It's compounded annually, so that's 1. And 1 times t, which is time, which is 8 years. And you simplify it, and you should get something quite nice, actually, raised to that power. So I'm going to stop here but you can calculate the value by sub putting in the calculator, okay? So good luck. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. This one continues. It's the same thing as the table. You're doing n equals 2 because it's twice a year, n equals 4 because it's 4 times a year, 12, 365, and you have to resubstitute everything into your formula. Good luck. I hope that made sense.